Okay, um, I can't actually show you doing this because it takes two hands and it's kind of hard to start. What you do is you slip, you had those two pieces, remember I told you put them together so they just touch. You're going to open the edge of the H, push it over and slip it onto the panel that you already have installed. Um, you're not going to push it very far, you're just going to push it over. You're going to use the spline tool rolling up the side to cautiously open the H as you are tapping with your mallet, your hammer, use on the paint tool scraper to push that over. And you, if you go too far too fast, you'll lose it. It's kind of a knack. Spline tools have a round and a grooved wheel. Use the round wheel. It won't cut. It just will gently help to open up the edge. So you can go whack and tap, 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 tap. And you just have to work your way up. I will probably lose the edge three or four times on this and kind of have to back up and finagle with it. But it will push it on. You're going to get it so that the whole thing is sealed up all the way to the top. And then the next step we're going to do is I use a piece of wood underneath the, the panel to hold it up. But you're going to loosen the fasteners, and I'll show you this. We're going to tap the panel with that same mallet, and we're going to push it over until it lines back up on that line we drew earlier. Then you'll know that they are a half inch apart and they're both firmly seated under the H channel, you'll have your watertight seal. But again, plant your paint scraper underneath the lip, inside, to push it, and you're tapping it with your hammer. And with the other hand, you're opening it up. And the reason you need to have these loose is starting it is a pain, and you're gonna have to pull both panels away from the wall a little bit to give yourself some elbow room to get that start going. Good luck. I'll show you uh, the final thing. Get going. Bye.